Hey guys! Ah, so I finally got some new plants. I've been waiting for them for a couple of months, if not weeks, you know, weeks and months. Uh, but yeah, um, Orchid Hall! There you go. So, what happened is actually because one of them was way too large. And the seller was like, I'm not packaging it. It's not happening. So we met very, very early hours in an Ikea car park and exchanged plants. It really probably from to people, it looked like drug smuggling or something. But, you know, we were smuggling some plants. And yeah, you could say plants are my drugs. There you go. So what did I get? Um, first one is... My first one, it's Stanhopia oculata. I hope I pronounce it correctly. Or Stanhopea or Stanhopia uh, or Stanhope. I have no clue. But there you go. And this one actually produces flower spike at, at the bottom. So it actually needs to go through the pot. So it will be hanging in a basket for me uh, just so the flower spike can get out. And yeah, this is my first one. Big blooms lovely fragrance the blooms don't last long but the fragrance is absolutely overwhelming so really looking forward to it and look at the quality of leaves there's absolutely nothing wrong with this plant nothing it's great right then i got one of the classics i think if you're growing orchids you really need to have one of these because this is great this is brassavola nodosa and uh, this is an orchid that produces white flowers. They're nothing special, but the special thing about it is it blooms in the evening. Uh, it produces fragrance in the evening, excuse me. And, and it's absolutely beautiful. And the thing is, I have a couple of orchids that do produce amazing fragrance, including Shari Baby, but I'm working during the day. So when I come home, nothing is fragrant anymore that's it that's that's the fragrance done so i really wanted to get this one because i want to come home and i want to smell some lovely orchids so yeah instead of just watering them in the evening i can actually enjoy a smell you know a fragrance would be great so this is brasuola nodosa lovely orchid has a couple of flower spikes i think coming out so still early days but yeah i can't wait to to see this one again this is not an orchid you get for its blooms you get it for its fragrance <clears throat> so that's a great one um then just because the seller knew that i already have the dendrophylax lenenia which is actually doing quite well it's producing some new roots i will have to put the lamps in the winter uh for the light because it needs to stay a couple of years in the sense where it thinks it's summer for it to grow so yeah the other one because she knew i have it and was like yeah i have these ones as well so do you want them and i was like yes so this is dendrophylax fonalis um i think there's a couple of them actually um but there's some new roots you know some live roots some desiccated roots but yeah Something's happening and I think there is like two or three plants here. It's not one because I can see one starting here, another starting here. But these are very small seedlings, so I have to be careful with them and not all will survive, but I hope at least one will. And actually for the dendrophylaxes, it's better if they grow in a colonies, they kind of create their own environment or something like that. They actually more or less like to grow in colonies. So Fonalis goes next to it and um, this one is dendrophylax salae um, which is a very close relative to dendrophylax lindenia uh, blooms are a bit similar you could say they're a bit more greenish and it grows on a small island of the name that i just forgot so excuse me but yeah uh, also two plants i think something's crawling on me Ugh bugs so also we'll keep next to lindenia and yeah hopefully they will do well they have a small colony there and i keep uh, the basis for the air uh, movement to be minimal and also for some extra humidity even though i have a humidifier here and 
It is at the moment 65 and 27 degrees and 65 relative humidity, they need more. So it's, that's why I have it in this big vase and I have some stones underneath uh, with water. Yeah, so that's those. And then, ta-da! <laughs> Sorry about my scary intro. Bulbophyllum phalaenopsis. Look at that! It's a monster. When the seller sent me the picture, I was like, oh my god. I asked you for the plant? I was like, yeah, it, I really don't want a very small one because then I need to wait for a century and I would never expect the seller getting something in a bloom for me to fully enjoy it. Again, didn't have to give my left hand and foot for to getting it, you know, it wasn't that expensive, which was great because I'm really not into thinking that oh you need to buy a plant like for hundreds and hundreds or in thousands and then you kill it and then your money really is wasted so this one was close to two digits and amazing plant it's just look at it it's huge and again if you don't know what's a bulbophyllum phalaenopsis it's one of the top 10 smelliest blooms in the world and i have to say if you stick your nose in that flower, oh my god, you will have a heart attack. It it does stink. But the great thing is, if you if you go like a meter away from it, that's it. The fragrance disappears. Fragrance or <clears throat> yeah, stinkiness, whichever it is, but oh it's but it's a monster and I love it. And yeah, obviously the leaves are well, they've been sprayed or whatever it came from, probably some pests or something, but that can be cleaned up, you know, that's, that's fine. But it's an absolutely beautiful plant and look how many leaves it has. It's a monster. It actually was used, this exact plant was used as a mother plant for creating seeds. So again, I, when I saw it first time, I was like, no, no orchid nursery would actually keep the plant for so long because it's just not reasonable for them to keep the plant for so long and it takes so much time and effort and so forth. They want to really get the plants up to the blooming size or in the bloom and then they want to sell it, you know, that's their business. The more they have to keep the plant, the more money they spend, it's less value. But this one was actually used for producing seeds for the small plant piece and yeah I got it and I got it for an amazing price and yeah if you want some plants that are not on eBay that are not in nurseries or so forth just speak to your sellers create a personal relationship with them and, and just let them know like if you see this plant around can you get it for me and maybe they won't come back to you like for months and months and then they will be like I got it do you want it <laughs> you know so do ask what you want you know don't just go through like eBay listings or or just look what the nursery has ask the persons like I'm really after this plant do you have any and there will be sellers that will say let me see let me see what I can do for you so yeah this one was traded in Ikea and is it's a fantastic plant you really can you imagine that's an orchid? My daughter's friend is actually staying over for a sleepover and she looked at it and was like, what is that? And I was like, that's an orchid. And you know, for the people who seen Phalaenopsis only, she was shocked. She was like, oh my God. <laughs> and I tricked them, I made them to smell it. You should have seen the faces, that was so funny. But yeah, it's actually it's not that lethal if you stand like a meter away you don't feel anything. The moment you go close to it, oh yeah. But for me, it actually doesn't remind um, of rottening meat. I wouldn't say that. For me, it reminds of rottening cabbage. And I know how rotten cabbage smells. I grew up in, in a countryside. I was working when I was young in a farm. So rotten cabbage, yeah, I'm the expert. I know exactly how it smells. So that's what it smells to me. Like, but yeah. A fantastic massive plant and I'm so grateful that I've been entrusted with it and I'll try not to kill it yeah there you go but that's been my 
orchid hole for a couple of months and I'm so happy over the moon and yeah, have a good day!